to one fight night 11. Whoa, new studio, look at that. Oh, we just switched studios just like that. Just like that. I miss Goldie, dude. I do too. People say, oh, he messed up all the time. Who cares? His, oh. he was, uh, I maintain he's the best play by play guy the UFC ever had. Like he messed up all the time. People that just hate life. Yeah. Who cares if he can't pronounce Ioana and Jacek? Nobody could at that time. Nobody you know? could. You look at yeah. those vowels and the consonants. There's like it's like a D R Z, and it's and it's uh, pronounced Yun. Like what are you talking about? She probably still mispronounces it. Yeah, she probably says it differently to everybody she meets. Goldie, I got your back, Goldie. All yeah. right. That being said, let's go over to one fight ninety eleven. <laughs> um, we'll start off with the main event, right? Work our way down just like we yeah. normally do. Okay. Yeah, so we're not going to cover every fight, right? We're already 40 minutes into this podcast. So, uh, all right. But we will talk about um, a handful of them, starting with uh, Menchikov versus Ursel. Oh, man. What a walkout, too, by Ursel, right? With the, oh, the, the mortal mask. mask from 300. Oh, man. Oh, it was so, so good. sick, dude. So good. I wish they yeah. did that more in all the other organizations. I know. It was so sick. It's I was looking forward to. Uh, yeah, uh, Dimitri's super young, but he's very talented. And you could tell, I mean, the guy's. I mean, just jacked, you know, absolutely jacked. Um, and he, he's got a lot of crazy... people fighting in one are super jacked, bro. Hey, man, they all take it very seriously. Uh, their job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Dimitri, like he's he has such that fast twitch style, right? His leg kicks are so fast. He just uncorks something and it's like and it's back already. And then uh, and Ursel is like, man, if you if you haven't watched a lot of his fights, the guy is one of the most intelligent fighters I've ever seen. He's so good at just figuring out how to beat somebody in the fight and just changing his game plan completely. Uh, and I was really looking forward to that. And I was like, Dimitri can win this. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, Aerosol should win this. And it's probably going to be uh, a decision. And it's going to be something that Dimitri learns a ton from. And instead, Aerosol's like, I don't have to wear big gloves anymore. I can just blast people with these small gloves. Uh, and... And one was like, hey, uh, story of the fight, you can show fight footage. So we can do that right now. <laughs> Ooh. Way to tee it up, by the way. You know, I'm that trying really sometimes. Good. That was good. Uh, by the way, Lumpini, the more that I'm learning about this, like, I want to go. I want to oh, go. Oh, man, visit. could you imagine? It'd be we so should go. Sick, we dude. should plan something. Yeah, I'm down, dude. I'm Blunderbug. super down. Blunderbug, meet us there. Anybody else yeah. wants to go? Let's roll. Lumpini Let's Stadium. Roll. So here's the All setup, right. right? Here they are. They're okay. trading. Look how fast Menchikov is. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay. Mixing it up well. Or so with the feints. I mean, his, his distance management is so good. And bam, look at that. And you're like, now, what when you hit him? When you go back and look at the way he's trying to stand up, he's so out of it, legs on. All wobbly and Olivier costs, dude. Nobody great with the boss. Yeah. Great stoppage, dude. I I don't think I've seen one stoppage from Olivier uh, that I'm like, dude, that was a little off. Yeah, Me you either. still pin up Herzog over uh, Olivier? It's close, huh? It's it's hard with MMA probably, um, but man, for like Muay Thai and stuff like that, the boss is so good. Like he's he's just so yeah. good. Here's the replay of the uh, of the the finish here. Look at this, right? I mean, that, that left hand is right on the temple. Bam. But the thing that we just don't see this him. before, because I actually put this in my notes. He goes with the right, feints yeah. the left knee, up top with the short left hook right on the forehead, and puts him out. And then yeah. look at that, that little pull-up, or what, what do they call those? A pull-over or the zip-up that he's pull-over, wearing afterwards? Yeah, yeah the, dude's sick. The but, uh, everywhere, come on. It's beautiful. Next time I see Ursul's name up there, your boy's tuning in. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, man, go, go back and watch some of his fights. I mean, he's like... Nah, I'm good. I'll watch the ones coming up. <laughs> I'll watch the live ones. You know, ones. like, <laughs> I'll watch the live ones, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm getting better, though. Like, this time you were texting me, like, hey, these fights are so good. And I was like, yeah, man, who versus who pretty good because I was watching those. Yeah, yeah. And, and then good I stuff. switched over to other stuff. And then I went back and watched yeah. them again, though. So it's all good. Yeah, but all right. Uh, Blender Bro says, I asked Will if it was going to go past the third, and it's over in 46 seconds. Yeah, he puts it in the chat, and I was like, you know, he could stop him early, but I, I think he'll probably go to decision. Uh, and it's going to be like a, a big learning moment for Dimitri, all this stuff. And he just fucking bonks him real quick with the left hand. Uh, like what I'm saying, uh... Yeah. Uh, Menchikov probably should have stayed down. 
you know, you stay down for a little bit longer. That's the, that's the, the trick that you learn with experience. Um, I mean, he's 25 years old. Um, but that's what you learn in it with experience is that you don't need to get up right away. You know, you just, you just put your hands on your, on your, on your knees or on the floor for a second. You just chill for a second because you might think I'll just get back up and we'll go back to war. But your legs are like, nah. your legs are like, Hey, I'm not ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're not connected yet. You got to wait for that to reboot real quick and then you can get up. <laughs> but you got oh, up man. way too soon. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Ursula, man, double champ, you know? Two belts, two yep. twenty. He's carrying fifty pounds on his shoulders when they put both belts on him. They're twenty six pounds each. That's amazing. <laughs> so sick. Heaviest belt in the game, right? It's um, gotta be. All right. Before that, we had Rotolo versus uh, Langaker. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Langaker. Langaker. So it's like long, L O N G, but with an A. Got it. All right. Yeah. Basically. So Langaker versus Rotolo. Um, dude, uh, the more of these matches that I see, these jujitsu mm-hmm. fights that I see. It's just like leg lock seminars left. And yeah, right. dude, that's the meta right now. That's that's what yeah. everybody's doing. Um, Longaker almost got him on the know? heel hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can pull it up, but uh, let me see one sec. Yeah, no, and you know, Rotolo doing such a good job of rolling out of it, uh, just over and over and over again. Uh, but it still looked like that heel hook was super deep, man. I I don't know how he got out of it. Look. Yeah, it's the catch from ref. Look at that. That, that, dude. That still looked super deep. And then right <laughs> so there, that's where he's sick, like, "All right, let me go ahead and try to take your back from here." Yeah, watching this one, this. the whole time. Look at this. He's trying to hook the leg underneath. <laughs> yeah, to take the back, right, so that he can take the back from that position. You go from being heel hooked, rolling out of the heel hook, to trying to take somebody's back. So smooth yeah. transitions, man. Yeah, and and Longaker's guard, his guard play was so impressive. Like, see, this one wasn't a catch, uh, but Cade Rotolo knows how to win these matches. You know why? Because he never, ne- he didn't necessarily have a catch, in my opinion, this whole match. I th- I actually had, I thought he lost this this match. Um, oh really? Yeah, because the rules uh, for for one championship for the grappling, the submission grappling, the rules are if it goes to decision. Whoever had the most submission attempts wins. It's not about who was on top the whole time, who had more control. It's literally a numbers game. How many submission, how many catches did you have? Cade Rotolo, a couple times, I think twice, he had almost a catch, but then he cranks it real big. He exaggerates the crank. He knows he's not going to get it. But I think the judges are like, there's a catch. He almost had a submission, mm, but he did it. Genius. I think the genius. only actual catch of the match was that long the one we just watched from Longaker, where he's where they roll out, roll through it. Um, but I'm not. I mean, I'm not like mad at it or anything. It was it was a super close match. It was I, for me. Anytime I watch these submission grappling, I'm on the couch and I'm just like, and then they 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 reset and I'm like, oh, and then I reset. And I'm like, oh, he's all like, tense. How twisted was I? Like, <laughs> I, I, I yeah, I'm like all tense, rolling around and shit. It's hard not to, you know, because like yeah, I love someone gets in a leg lock and I immediately in there. Yeah, I think it's so sick. Some people are like it kills momentum, and I say, go fuck yourself. Dang, dude, that's aggressive. I think it's awesome. I think that's it's aggressive. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I love how they drop one in there. Now, if they were to do this for like a ten fight card, and it was just this, over you can't and over just over do again, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that the way that they drop it in and the people mm-hmm. that they use. Because every match that I've yeah. seen so far has been exciting. Um, you know, with Rotolo, yeah. Musumeci, uh, and uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, me too. I think, uh, like, <clears throat> the way they do it um, is cool because it's almost like a, a palate cleanse a little bit, you know, where you, you're watching Muay Thai and it's so action-packed, and then you get a nice submission match where it starts. it usually starts slow and then it ramps up. And then by the time it's over, you're like, all right, I'm ready for, for some more war, you know? Um, and they got some great guys. I mean, this one, Tommy, like when they announced this one, I was like, ooh, this is the toughest test. I remember you telling me that one. You were yeah. like, this is going to be a good one. Yeah. And because and, uh, they've gotten a lot of like Sambo guys to fight their jujitsu guys in these submission grappling. And it's like, well, that's great and all. It's like the jujitsu guys are probably going to win these matches, you know? And they have been. Um, this was the first like, Tommy's no joke. He's very good. His guard play is insane, you know? Um, but Cade pulled it off. And I like Cade a lot, you know? 
seems fun like stuff. a lot of fun. Um, we can move on to Framenov versus Shine. Did I pronounce that one correctly? You did, yeah. Uh, hey. Blunderbub says, I love the submission matches. Uh, I want them to find a better way to score them. It is interesting um, that they do it that way. But I, I think it incentivizes people to go for submissions and not care about getting swept or things like that, you know, because a lot of the times if it's about passing and top control and things like that, people will just kind of con- go off control. I don't want to go for this submission because what? Because usually a failed submission, you end up on your back. Things like, like that. Things like that happen because you have to, it's a sacrifice to go for a submission. That's what makes it so cool. But if you don't get it, usually it ends up badly for you if you don't get a submission. Um, like we just saw right there, Tommy almost had the leg lock and he didn't get it. And instead, Kate almost took his back, you know. Uh, so things like that happen. So the rule set of, of not really caring about sweeps and, and position and passing and things like that, it allows them to freely go for submissions. You know what I mean? For sure, man. For sure. In they're different weight class, Musumeci and uh, Rotola, yeah. right? Musumeci small. Yeah, because yeah. I just keep on thinking like uh, who who do they continue tossing in here? How many I of imagine. these uh, grapplers do they continue tossing in there with these different folks? Yeah, so I saw that one. Mighty Mouse is going to be going up against uh, – it's Musumeci? Yeah, that's going to be so sick. <laughs> it's going to be so Super sick. Super fights, man. Super fights. Yeah. All right. Uh, but framing off versus Shine. Man, this was a banger. Shine throws so hard. He throws so hard with every punch he throws. Um, but Framanov is so talented. And you see, uh, you actually see right here is your boy, uh, Fazeev. He was there. Oh, Rafael Fazeev. Yeah. Um, Rafael Fazeev. But, I mean, we can just show it. These are some of the highlights from the uh, one YouTube channel. Um, and we'll go. Oh, Blunderbub says, I think that's fine. I wish at the end of the match there was sudden death on the mat or something. That would be cool. That's like EBI what, uh, style. Yeah, yeah. Where they push I love you EBI rules. or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but here's Shuni throwing bombs, dropping Framanov in the first round. You just, <laughs> you just watch, uh, watch Rafael Fazeev. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the home like, alone. Oh, no. He did the home alone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, man. I think that, that uh, so good. yeah, framing off catching uh, Shine with the knee. Um, but the thing that I really was impressed wa- uh, by was the timing from Shine with yeah. uh, Framenov's entries. Once he got that that timing down on Framenov's entry, he was able to yeah. land that left straight multiple times. There was one that, especially in the first round, I think it was one of the very first big shots that landed. Uh, mm-hmm. It might have been, yeah, it was a straight left. And you see Framenov kind of like do one of these where like he stiffens up a little bit, like oh, wobbles yeah, a little yeah. bit. And I'm like, oh, dude, he he got rocked on that one. He got cracked. But he great got recovery because then he landed that knee on Shine afterwards. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what was the uh, – man, I lost it. But the lead up to the knee from uh, from Framenov to finish the fight was so sick because once he got dropped uh, and they started f- kind of feeling out each other a little bit more, you could see Framenov was just like – I got this, you know, I just have to keep doing this, keep going with my game plan. Um, because man, his shots are just so good. His angles, things like that. Uh, you could tell he's, he's down there in Thailand constantly trained, you know, they did a cool little piece before that showing that he was in the military and stuff. Oh, and stuff. nice. He joined the military that. when he was 12. It's like, all right, dude. dang, dude, what were you doing when you were 12? <laughs> yeah. Not, not being in the military. <laughs> like Tony Hawk pro skater or something, you know? Yeah. Probably actually. Uh, yeah. But here's the, uh, let's show this really quick. Okay. So is this uh, when uh, Framanov catches uh, Shine with a knee? I believe so. Okay, it's got to be. Yep, there it is. Let's get that clinch. The elbows that he landed on top were so impressive. Yeah, and uh, I had that on my notes. I mean, look too, at the those elbows. Pound that he starts oh landing. Oh, my God. Shine had no choice but to give up his back. Right? Yeah. And uh, you could look tell that elbows. from the elbows, he's a little out of it because the way that Framanov kind of just slides in underneath right there. See? Yeah. It, it, the the RNC uh, sinking in the rear naked choke seemed easy. The hard yeah. work came in and landing the knee and landing those – elbows from mount jesus those are monsters monster elbows um and you know 
<clears throat> you love a good club and sub. Club yeah. and sub, dude. Absolutely. Good stuff. What was the other one? A little bloop and a bloop and a blast. Bloop and yeah. a blast. That a was a bloop and a blast, a man. Run. There you go. All right. <laughs> we'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Super Bond versus Oscan. Yeah, Oscan? Tyson. Oh my god, dude. Super Bond. He's so good. He's so good. He's coming off a loss. You know, he lost to uh um Alizov, right? Uh which was I mean, that was awesome. Um but you could tell I mean Typhon's really good and you could tell he hits super hard. Um, but it seemed like he never really got to get going because it's it's, it's so insane to watch someone who can counter so well and at the same time not just counter but also be first in the same fight that's mm-hmm. so insane dude because super bond you're on the outside he's blasting you with leg kicks he's blasting you with high kicks as soon as you throw a combo he slips and he hits you with another one you catch his kick he's gonna pull it back and kick you with the other leg like i mean just so incredible that typhon just really couldn't get much going it's so good i love seeing more and more of these uh, guys from thailand Right, these Muay Thai guys that have been throwing kicks since they were in diapers, probably. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, just like uh, when we find out Raw Tang's been fighting since a very, very young age. By the way, mm-hmm. if you didn't know that, you can find out by our video essay that we did on Story of the Fight. Make sure you go <laughs> check it out. But you take a look at Super Bond and the way that he's able to throw some of these kicks from some of the weirdest angles when he's on his back foot. <clears throat> he got uh, Typhon, by the way, badass name, Typhon. Yeah. Sick. I freaking love it, dude. But you have Typhon coming in and blitzing, and you have Super Bond kind of like Staying evading, back. moving back. And as he's moving back, he throws up that high left kick. He Just did that it. a couple times. Yeah. And then that's how he finally caught him. As he's coming in, he's moving back again. Bink! Right on the chin. And he is out, out. Props it's to the scary. ref who threw himself on the ground trying to catch the head. Yeah. But it was too late. Typhon's yeah, that uh... had bounced. Yeah, he was out for a while too. I think they they pulled the stretcher out for him. Um, but dude, a fadeaway lead high kick knockout is so hard. That is so difficult to pull off, and he made it look so effortless. That's the thing. Like effortless, it's looks so balanced the entire way through. Yeah, yeah. And why listen to us say it when we could just watch it again? Oh my god, I'm so oh, glad I I, we get to uh, to put this stuff on here. Yeah. So Oskin threw a good uh, combo here. You know, it's not like he was overexposed or anything. So he comes in. Here it is. Oh, not yet. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I my mean, God. On. Look, that that ref is awesome, dude. But he's but out, yeah, out. Look at it. out, out. Oof. Lights yeah. shut off. How long and, was he out, I wonder? Is he okay? Uh, I didn't see him come back. Uh, Blunderbub says Mitch and Rich arguing about whether his game is simple or sneaky, but he's both for sure. Yeah. Um, shout out Rich Franklin. He's he's pretty good in the booth. I, I kind of would rather want to see to have just two people in the booth. I thought it was perfect with Chavello and uh, went and Mitch. I thought they were perfect together. You don't need three because it turns a little too conversational. Um, but the uh, that's what they were talking about, right? And you can be both. You can be both. Uh, because the game plan is simple. He's not throwing wheel kicks. He's not unorthodox. His footwork isn't crazy, like weird, you know, he's not jerky or anything weird, uh, but he's very technical and very mechanically sound. And, but at the same time, he'll throw these things. I mean, that high kick fade back high kick was so, so good. So good that it, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be seen in slow motion, you know? Oh, dang. Let's see it again then. Know. Oh my! God. I mean, come Ow, on, out. dude. Oh, wow! The fade dude, back that... while under fire is just, and the interview was great. Did you watch his interview? No. So good. So was good. It? Mostly, in, yeah, mostly in English. He's he's yelling stuff. Uh, he calls for the remix. Uh, Blunderbub says someone needs to make him uh, some steel jawbone <laughs> trophies to carry around, though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but so he calls out uh, Alizov. He wants the rematch. Alizov's booked, but that that because that was crazy. Alizov kind of steamrolled Super Bond. Um, so I would like to see the rematch uh, eventually because they're they're two of the best strikers in the world right now. Um, the fact that we can see them fight multiple times is like, give me it. Because but it was cool seeing uh, 
he does the the interview mostly English, which is crazy. You just don't expect it. And it cuts to Rod Tang and the crowd going crazy for him, just like super stoked because they're boys. It was this was a uh, a very good bounce back for Superbon after after his loss because he he got blitzed by Alizov. Look fantastic, and it shows how good Alizov is. I mean, come on. All right, man. I think this is the last one we're going to cover, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. And it was uh, Balak versus Ill. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> striker versus Grappler. You know, Quan Wan Ill. Classic man. Clear, yeah. Quan Wan Ill, clearly a striker. Balak, his name's Artem. You could, you could guess he's going to have some good wrestling, you know? Uh, and the first round, it started, and within like 10 seconds, he's like already on the back. And you're like, oh, no. This, I was kind of hoping to see Quan Wan Il get his hands going, but uh, this might this might be a quick one. But he did a great job defending. You know, he got he, he got did. the corner. Uh, he, he looked good doing it. Um, and then he he rides out on the ground for the majority of the first round. Um, and then the second round, he was like, "Those takedowns aren't going to work anymore. You're not as fresh. Uh, you're not as explosive. And get ready for these hands." Yeah. Because oh my god. Once he started throwing that, oh my dude, the, the liver shots, the body shots to both sides. Uh he'll throw he was throwing that overhand right and then the follow up because you, you follow through with the overhand right, you're leaning, and then just comes right back with the that left hook to the body. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the only thing that uh like watching this one, I, I honestly enjoyed the who versus woo uh fight more than I enjoyed that was this one here. That was a banger. It was a banger. Uh you know me, Will. I love watching punches and bunches. Yeah, yeah. And both of these guys throughout the entire fight was one and done a little too much for me. Ah. Um, Balak would come in, throw a shot, and then he's like, it's your turn. And then uh, yeah, Palm yeah. would come in and throw a sh- like a step in hook to the body. And then he's like, it's your turn. And it was just too yeah. much of that the entire fight. And I thought to myself, the first person to start throwing combos is going to win this fight by decision. I didn't think it was going to be finished, right? Yeah. I, I thought it was going to go uh, to decision. And sure enough, we have uh, Quan that starts throwing some combos finally. I'm like, finally. Yeah. Let's go. I've been waiting for it. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, just a little too much of the one and done. You go. All right, now you go. Now you go. Now yeah. you go. Uh, but no speaking of that overhand. Which means I don't like no it in Gusta. Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Blunderbub says Quan got that UFC energy in the interview. <laughs> yeah. And, and here's... Here's the uh, overhand right to the left body shot. Bam. I mean, Oof. come on, dude. That's a different fight. But I just want to see it again. Bam. Oh, my God. He hurt him to the body a couple times in that second round. Where Belloc is is pretty much all the shots uh, that came from Belloc were because he got hurt to the body uh, in that second round. I mean, look at this. The, his hands looked so good once he started letting them go. Lead him I, the head I a like that bit. phone booth uh, boxing. Yeah, let's see. Elbow back up, jab back up, elbow Bella back up. Bella the elbow. Yeah, yeah. Punch back up. Look. Oh, kick. there's the body kick. Oh my god. You see what I'm saying though? Like, hey, let's kick. follow something up. Yeah. There's there we go. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I want to call it bunches, you know, but hey, it's like four punch look, combo, see? man. That's a bunch. Look, look. There we go again. See. He tries the, the Mike Tyson left hook to the body, left hook up top. But I think mostly it's because Bellick's like, I'm not trying to trade with this dude because I will get KO'd. And then he hurts him again. Yeah. Oh, you know God, what I just thought about? We didn't do so the uh, we didn't do the moment of silence. Nah. UFC. Do you want to cover bonuses for UFC? You want to skip that today? Uh, we can go back to it. I just want to see this finish real quick because it was so sick. Okay. Blood above says sympathy liver pain. I mean, he kept going back to that. I almost threw up myself after that shot. <laughs> That's oh, the right hand that there drops it is. him. And then you're like, oh man, what are the rule sets in one FC? Can they do anything Boom. cool? Like a knee to the head on the ground? Yes, they can. And Herb Dean's like, was that okay? I'm not used to that. <laughs> He's about to stop it right now. Yeah. There it is. I mean, that knee right here. Ready? Bam. Like, yeah, he's like, let me get up. Oh, wait, no, I'll go back down. The Herb Dean Shuffle. Classic. Yeah. 
All right. But it was a great so card. that was it, it was for uh, one. for one fight night eleven. We already covered UFC two eighty nine. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.